everyone doing? I'm back here again with another collection video. As you guys know, if you guys have been following me for a long time, you guys know that I love collecting different editions and different versions of my favorite films. Uh, you guys have seen me show up my Home Alone collection, my Halloween collection, and my Child's Play collection. Well, today I'm going to be showing off another collection that I have of one of my all-time favorite films. This is one of the first films that I saw back when I was very young and it's a movie that's very near and dear and close to my heart and that is the 1991 film My Girl which stars Dan Aykroyd, Jamie Lee Curtis, Macaulay Culkin and Anna Klumsky in her first starring role and like I said this was one of the first films that I remember seeing when I was very young and it's a movie that really touched me when I was young you know I absolutely love the film um, it's it's one movie that always brings me back to my childhood whenever I watch it and it's also one of the only films that can uh, make me cry um, even now when I watch it it does give me uh, it does make me tear up a little bit um, but if you guys want to know my thoughts on the film My Girl, I'll leave a link down below to my review. I did a review of the film a few years ago, so if you guys want to see that, I'll leave a link down below in the description box. I will also leave a link down below to the second film, My Girl 2, which I also really enjoy as well. And just like Home Alone uh, and, you know, Halloween, My Girl is a film that I always enjoy collecting different versions of the movie. Whenever I see a different... Uh, release of the film. I always enjoy picking it up. So I've got a few uh, I've got a few releases of the first film. I've got a couple of VHS releases, a DVD release, a Blu-ray, as well as a few releases of My Girl 2 and a few other cool little items that are related to the films. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, get started. So the first thing I'm going to show off is the first VHS uh, that I ever owned of the movie and it was also the first time I ever watched the movie was on this VHS. And that is the Columbia TriStar Family Collection VHS release. Um, like I said, this was the first time I ever watched the movie. Um, I don't remember when I when I bought this. Um, I know this uh, came out. Um, I want to say a few years after the movie was released to the theaters, but um, I really like these Columbia TriStar Family Collection uh, tapes. You know, they all come in these gold uh, these gold VHS boxes, which I like. I have a few others in my collection. Um, but as you guys can see, it is in not really good shape. Um, some of the plastic is missing right here on the top, and, you know, it's just kind of dirty and everything because it's one of the oldest tapes from my collection, so it's not in, it's not in great shape. Um, there's a spine right here. I've always liked that image right there of, you know, Thomas J. and, and Veda right there at the top of uh, the case. My girl. And then here's the back. Another great scene right here is, you know, when uh, Veda is coming out um, of her house and she's trying to act, you know, all flirty and everything for Thomas J. And she uh, lays down like that and he's like, oh, is your leg bleeding? You know, I always like that scene. But, um, yeah, like I said, one of the oldest tapes in my collection. Um, I'll go ahead and show you guys the actual VHS of it. There you go. All right. Now we're moving on to my other VHS release I have of the film, and I actually got this from my grandmother's, and one thing that's cool about this is uh, it is actually still sealed. This is the slipcover release of the film, and as you can see, it is slightly different. Um, right here, where it says My Girl is written in red, whereas on my original tape, it is written in white at the top, um, and there's other minor differences, but other than that, um, you know, it's uh, in a little slipcase VHS release, and it is still sealed, which is uh, great. I was surprised that she had a copy of the movie uh, still sealed. She was trying to sell it at the yard sale, I think, for 50 cents. And, of course, I, you know, got it from her. It still has a little seal on the bottom as well. And um, I'm just really happy to own one of my favorite films on VHS, you know, still sealed and in really, really nice condition. All right, next up. I have the DVD release of it. Um, I want to say this is the first DVD release of it, but I'm not really sure. Um, once again, uh, My Girl is written in red, just like it is on that tape. Um, and it just has, you know, this image right here of Thomas J. and Veda that are on all the releases of the film, or almost all of them. Um, there's been several releases of the film that use different, uh, different artwork. Um, yeah. One thing about the back I don't like is I don't really like if how there's different hearts all around it makes the movie look 
girly, I think, in a way. I mean, even though the film does follow a young girl, it's definitely not a movie that's just made for, you know, girls. I think that boys can enjoy the movie as well, and I think adults can as well, because it deals with adult themes. You know, it deals with, it deals with adolescence, you know. It's about a young girl who's going through a lot of changes in her life and sort of becoming a young woman, you know. And um, that's one thing I always enjoyed about the film. Um, I'm going to go and open it up, if I can, with one hand. Um... And show you guys the inside because I absolutely love if, if I can get it open. There we go. I absolutely love that disc artwork right there. You know, just the the outline of Thomas J. and Veda about the kiss. I, I absolutely love that art, that disc art. And then it has this little insert right here, which is just a, uh, a uh, just a small two page little insert. Hold on a sec. Here we go. You know, it just has that, and it has the chapter selection on the back. And you open it up, and there's a small little write-up of the movie on the on on the inside. And it has, of course, the image of you know Thomas Jane Veda kissing, which is a uh, you know a very iconic moment in the film. Um, but yeah, this uh, read-up was written by David uh, uh, Shahan, I believe, by KNBC TV. Um, so yeah, kind of cool that the DVD has this. Um, I'm not sure if this is, like I said, the uh, first release of the film on DVD or if it's an older release, but still happy to still happy to own it. And then we have the Blu-ray release of My Girl, um, which I'm really, really happy this movie got a Blu-ray release. It definitely deserved it, and and I'm glad that it had, you know, it, it got this nice, uh, it got a nice release too with some special features. The DVD doesn't have any special features, but the Blu-ray has a commentary by the writer, as well as a day on set, first kiss and bingo, which is just some short behind the scenes clips of, you know, the, the scene when Thomas J. and Veda, Macaulay Culkin and Anna Klumski when they kiss, and then a short behind the scenes featurette which has interviews um, on the set of the film from 1991 with Anna Klumski, Macaulay Culkin, Dan Aykroyd, um, and it's a nice, it's a nice little uh, behind the scenes feature. I'll definitely recommend this Blu-ray. Um, the transfer looks great on it as well, as well as the music. I mean, the sound, it, everything about this is a uh, really nice. I did do a separate Blu-ray re uh, re review on this, uh, on this Blu-ray. So if you guys want to see that, I'll also leave that down below. All right. Now the next thing I want to show is a cassette tape of the My Girl soundtrack. I absolutely love the soundtrack of this film. It's got a lot of classic, you know, 60s movies. Uh, I mean, 60s uh, music. You know, it's got some of the Temptations, of course, performing the song My Girl, which is such a classic movie. I mean, such a classic song. You got Sly and the Family Stone. Um, you got Mannered Man, um, Clear, uh, Creedence Clearwater Revival. Um, as you can see, it's not in great shape. Uh, the artwork is in pretty bad condition, but I was just happy to, uh, you know, happy just to own the cassette release of the soundtrack. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, take out the artwork because it has, uh, has some cool images on the back and on the inside, which I think is, is neat. I'm going to open it up for you guys. There we go. And then it had that image of, you know, Veda and Thomas J standing back to back. So, yeah, pretty cool to own, um, you know, own the cassette of the, I mean, own the soundtrack to the film on cassette. Because um, it's one of my favorite movies, and when I found this, I found this at Goodwill, I was really happy. And the last two items I'm going to show that's related to the first film are the novelizations of the film. Um, this is uh, just one of the two copies I own. Um, this was a uh, this was written by Patrick Hermes and was based on the motion picture uh, uh, screenplay written by uh, uh, Loris El Elwani. I'm I'm pretty sure I'm, I'm mispronouncing that. Uh, the Blu-ray does have uh, the sound. I mean, has a, a commentary track by her um, for talking about how when she wrote the film. Um, but yeah, this is basically just a. Um, a write-up of the, um, or it's basically just, you know, the screenplay of the film, um, you know, written into a, a book, and it's a pretty good read, I've read it, um, it has, uh, some scenes that weren't in the original, um, that weren't in the film that was in the original screenplay, so that's, it's pretty cool. This was one I got before the copy I, that you just saw, only this one is in 
pretty bad condition. It's really not in good shape, but I end up with two copies of it. All right, and now I'm going to move on to My Girl 2. Uh, so once again, I have the uh, Columbia TriStar Family Collection VHS of My Girl 2 right here in the uh, gold case. I really enjoy My Girl 2, and I think a lot of people enjoy it more because it's more of an upbeat movie. Because in the first film, there are, there is a lot of traumatic stuff that Veda goes through in the first film, and in this one, it's a lot more lighthearted. I think. Ah. Show you guys the tape. It's kind of hard to open it up. It's the VHS. There you go, My Girl 2. All right, and I don't have another copy of it on VHS, but I do have the DVD of it. There's no no special features. There's a just a theatrical trailer of it, and then it has a uh, little insert that just has the uh, chapter selections and the sort of a uh, purplish disc. So here we go, My Girl 2 on DVD, and then I have this double feature that has My Girl and My Girl 2. And one reason why I picked this up was, well, first it was only three dollars at Walmart, but also it has the alternate artwork for My Girl, which I like. You know, the image of Thomas J. and Veda standing on back to back. I've always liked that. There we go. And the last thing I'm going to show is the novelization of My Girl 2. Once again, um, based on the screenplay. Uh, that was written by Janet uh, uh, sorry, Kowalsik, I believe is how you pronounce it. I'm sorry. Um, I have not read this, but um, I'm sure it's, it's just as good as the, uh, the novelization of the first film. And there you have it, guys. That is my My Girl collection. Let me know down below what you guys think about my collection. And let me know what you think about the film My Girl. Like I said, it's one of my favorite films. I absolutely love the movie. It's a movie that I grew up watching. I know that a lot of other people enjoy it as well. So let me know down below what you guys think about it. And let me know what you guys think about My Girl 2 as well. And if you guys have not seen it, I'll leave links down below to my reviews for both My Girl 1 and 2, as well as my review for the My Girl Blu-ray, if you guys want to check this out. Anyway, guys, thanks to everybody for watching. As always, if you guys want to follow me on Facebook, I will leave the link down below underneath the uh, links to the reviews. Thanks to everyone for watching. Be sure to comment, and I'll see you guys in the next video.